So uh, we're on our way to a rammed earth house. It is Boxing Day, and as most people are probably shopping for, I don't know, crazy electronics, we are shopping for housing. <laughs> uh, not to buy the house, but just to, to, to see what kind of look uh, we could potentially adopt for our community center, kind of learning center at Valhalla. So today we're going with our architect. I've got Germ here with me behind the camera and uh, we're going to visit a rammed earth house in Hudson, which is just outside of Montreal. You know, we're gonna take you on the journey. We're gonna show you all the steps that we are going through to making this Earthship a possibility because this is, uh, I think this is what the world needs, is that people need to understand the step-by-step -step process uh, that it takes to make this kind of happen for them. It's seriously deep. Seriously. So we're here at a rammed earth house in Quebec, designed by Sudir, our lead architect on the Valhalla Earthship Community Center build. And he's here to walk us through this house and ask us questions about what we want to implement in our learning center. So we're here with Sudhir, the lead architect on the Valhalla Earthship kind of community center, learning center build. And uh, he's giving us a tour of a rammed earth house that basically you and your team designed. Yeah, yeah. This was uh, conceived in 2005, completed in 2007, really completed in 2008. Um, but it's, uh, it, there's a lot of firsts in this building and I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to have a look through it. And certainly for me and for us at Lyft, we, we never manage we never imagined finishes as a, as a way of giving an aesthetic mm -hmm. kind of feel to a thing. It's always the structure of the thing itself. Right? Absolutely. It's always the it's always the stuff. Yeah. So um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted you to come here and see, you know, and get a feeling for this thing in the landscape. Um, to have a discussion about the look and feel of the place, mm -hmm. and to understand a bit better what you guys thought was you know, Valhalla, so what, how do you want to present Valhalla? Because this, if this is what your, if your first project is what you're going to be presenting as Valhalla, we got to get that right. I, I mean, right? I, as I said in our previous meeting, the first thing that I have to say is we have to do it right. Mm -hmm. You know, if it means that the budget is a little bit more, but it, or it takes more time or we do it in phases where it's like, okay, we're going to finish the shell this year. Great. We're going to pause, go back for more funding and continue to make this happen. I'd rather do that than finish or make something that is kind of half of what we need it to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think because this is our first building, we can go, we can go, go about it in two ways. We could have went, okay, we're going to make a small, cheaper building and do that, mm -hmm. and then eventually go up for the, for the home run. But I think we should go for the home run, and I, you know, I speak for, I think, most of us in this. It's saying, you know, for example, with the greenhouse, we made it something that was aff affordable and accessible, right? We used the polycarbonate as mm -hmm. opposed to glass. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't sell my mom. It doesn't sell no. the mayor. No. And if we were trying to get something like this dezoned, if we were trying to get all of this land kind of unlocked to be able to do something like this, then we have to make it the home run. Right. And so to me, I wouldn't want to give up any quality Mm -hmm. In that way, I would want to really kind of slam it out the out of the park. Okay. Um, as for finish, obviously certain aspects of it, we don't have to go crazy necessarily either. Like these are these look like brand new wood floors. These are you know the the you know, type you of stuff here. that you have in here, like that big sink over there, is not necessarily where we need to go with it either. I don't need to spend ten grand on a sink. I don't think we need to go that far, but I do think like. This bamboo style desk looks great. Mm -hmm. You know, there's kind of finish or the, the wood feel of this place and the nice windows and the way the sun comes in, that's what we're selling. You know, the feeling of the fact that the floors feel fantastic right now mm -hmm. and don't look like concrete, mm -hmm. another point. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think there is a, a certain level of threshold in terms of finish that we do or should have. I do think. Um, we're all very much into the adaptation. We're all very much into kind of taking an earthship and then moving it to something kind of even bigger and cooler. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have easier time raising funds and getting things together if we're going out of, out of the realm of, of normal as well. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're making just a standard earthship, 
yeah, I think people are excited very much, but at the same time, if we're making something that's really like, this is Valhalla, and this is what we want to build, if we go, you know, my, my dad has land in Vermont, we're talking about doing an expansion there, and we work mm -hmm. there, we have land uh, in other places, my, there's all kinds of potential for even further than just this project. Okay. So I would love a flagship style building where you take and we can replicate numerous areas. Okay. I love walking into these buildings and feeling the inspiration that comes with talking about all this kind of stuff, but also realizing how possible it now really can be and is. You know, when you walk into a house and you see a geodesic dome in the backyard and apple trees and, and nice wood and rammed earth, you feel like Maybe you're a little less crazy than you thought you were sometimes. Uh, I wonder if we couldn't just take Go a around. stroll around and sure. tell me mostly what you feel uncomfortable with. Uh, so what do I like about this place? And what, what are the things that make you feel not so... Not so